Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Go Nuggets. <laughs> Just kidding. Can't help but support my team after that awesome performance last night by the MVP, Mr. Jokic, shot out. Now, now for the for the real reason I'm here. Let me walk you through this beautiful 2023 Newmar London Air. This is uh, I was walking in this the other day with a couple customers, and I fell in love with the kitchen. I hadn't actually really paid a lot of attention to it till the other day, and I thought I have to video this. Uh, if you like this floor plan, I'm going to do another one next week, next Wednesday. We just got one that rolled in, so I'm going to show that one off next week. This is a London Air 4569. This has the Hayworth exterior and interior. Um, Spartan chassis, so you're going to have 605 horsepower, 1,950 pound-feet of torque, 150 gallons of fuel capacity. Uh, you're going to have 105 gallons of freshwater capacity. 80 gray and 60 on the black tank. So we're gonna start up front here and kind of point out a couple of things. This unit is available, so if you fall in love with it, give me a call, shoot me an email. This is stock number 5N221276. We're gonna start right here in the front. You can see we have our mobile eye lane departure system. That's gonna let you know when you're getting in and out of the wrong lanes you get too close to the median it's going to let you know that uh, you need to straighten up wake up a little bit of course we're going to have our keyless entry we're going to have our hydraulic steps most of, a lot of coaches are going to have two steps versus the three which this has super cool as you get older, you got bad knees, bad hips. Just makes it nicer. That one extra step really makes it nice. If we work our way back here, you can see we have our 22 and a half inch Alcoa wheels. These are 365 70s. Has a, a 55 degree front wheel cut. It's got dual fuel for that 150 gallons of fuel capacity. You've got your security light right down here. Outdoor refrigerator freezer. Two separate compartments. Right here you can see we have our slide tray, 1,000 pound capacity on this couple extra tiles nice little air hose there you're also going to have the additional shelf space on top for smaller items uh, if you can kind of zoom in down here a little bit we can show this star foundation Marlon just kind of catch this bottom piece here so you can see we have our star foundation here welded to the frame right there and it's not sitting on the frame which is very important gives you that strong, true and robust foundation. Quieter ride, smoother ride. Keeps everything nice and square so you're not cracking tiles or having issues with your slides. Here we're gonna have the larger of our two slide pass-through trays. You can also see our central vac hose system down here, our hose attachments. Before I get too far, let me point out these window awnings that we have here on the front. We also have our two Girard awnings, Nova Girard awnings out with LED lights. As you can see, we've got plenty of coverage. For a beautiful sunny day like today, which we haven't had in a little while here, so I'm really happy to see that. Another large storage compartment here. Central vac system there, so you can attach your hoses and if you want to vacuum out the basement area. All right, right here's our TV, outdoor entertainment system with our Bose soundbar. Perfect area to sit down a couple lawn chairs under these awnings and catch the game. 
All right, as we move back here, I said the front, the front wheels have a 55 degree uh, cut on the axle. Your passive steer tag axle on this floor plan is gonna have an eight degree cut. So that will turn as you're uh, you know, backing into a parking spot or going into tight spots as you're trying to find you a, a nice campsite. We're gonna have a 15 gallon def tank. Right back here, these air valves are gonna be your emergency fill for your suspension. So if you happen to lose air pressure to your air suspension, uh, you can call a tow truck. They can run air into those and air you up so they can get you towed safely. Back here, we're gonna have our two chassis batteries with our disconnects. Of course, it's a high-end Newmar, so they do hide that ugly particulate filter that's underneath here. You're gonna have your air dryer and water separator back here as well. Can't finish going around this side without showing that masterpiece finish here. Beautiful paint job. Goes along with the slide so it looks nice and elegant rather than just being solid white or black on that slide out. So we come around the back here. You can see this is on Spartan K2 chassis. We're gonna have our backup camera here. Here you're going to see we have our Cummins X 15 liter engine. Plenty of power to get you up and down the mountains here. We're going to have our block heater right there. We have an air quick connect right on the back side there as well. Down here we're going to have our 20,000 pound tow hitch. Eight pin connector. You're also going to have your safe haul quick connect here for your tow vehicle and it's also set up for a trailer camera system. Beautiful rear cap, hides everything nice, looks again nice, clean and elegant. We're going to have our side radiator. Provides plenty of cooling for that 15 liter Cummins. So you saw the 15 gallon def tank on the other side. You can fill on both sides. There's access to that. Here's our escape door, which I'll show you when we get inside. Beautiful paint job. I really like this exterior color. It's a nice compartment there for your sewer hose. Keeps it away from everything else. Nice and clean. Here you're gonna have some additional security lights. And then our water, our water bay here with stainless steel backing. You can see the hot and cold shower, full water filter system, and our Sanicon macerator system. You're also going to have a control panel right here with different settings. You can check your tanks. Uh, you can work lights, do your gen set. You can also do the tilt feature on this. So when it's time to tilt your or drain your tanks, you hit tilt. It'll lean the coach this direction so you can get everything out of there. Really nice feature. Here is our 50 amp shore cord. You're also going to have your surge guard and transfer switch. Down here, you're going to have cable inlet. Oasis hydronic heating and hot water system. Now we're on the back side of our slide trays. This is the large tray again. It does go out in both directions and does have a thousand pound capacity. Really nice feature so you don't have to be climbing in and out of the basement. All right, here in our battery bay, you can see Gone from AGMs to the lithium battery pack on this. You're gonna have two lithium batteries, can be upgraded to a third. As it sits, you have 640 amp hours. You also see that we've got two inverters. One of those inverters will run the air conditioner. 
without having to run your generator as you're going down the road. All right, here in the front compartment, we're gonna have some fuses, spare fuses here. Nice way to clean your windshield, get those bugs off. And then right here is your generator compartment. Open and close, you can see the exhaust is gonna move. I point this out every time, just cause you don't wanna to get too close to it, especially if it's been running. You don't wanna burn your leg. Not sure if you can hear, but we are running our 12 5K uh, Cummins generator. This is a diesel gen. Trying to cool down the coach as it is a beautiful day. You're going to have your hot water right there so you can get all those bugs off the front of the coach and off your windshield. Quick air connect, quick connect there for your airline. Right above that, you're going to have your city horns. And then over here on the slide, front cover here, you're going to have your two air horns. All right, now we can go inside. We're gonna have keyless entry and a doorbell here. You can also unlock your baggage doors from this keypad. Right now I have the steps on, so they will open and close every time the door opens and closes, but we can turn those off so they stay out. Once you get to your campsite, you don't want them going in and out, so you would wanna shut those off. Come on in. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that door. Keep the air in here nice and cool. A couple things I love to point out about this floor plan again. I was in it the other day showing it. Really caught my attention. From where I'm standing now, it looks more like a home not so much as an RV, and the big part of that is this beautiful kitchen. Uh, so you have a nice U-shaped kitchen with plenty of storage, plenty of counter space. So you can see here, we've got our dual sink, stainless steel, of course. Ton of storage overhead and under the sink. Nice little pull-out tray with the trash can. You've got some additional storage back there and on the slide here. Ton of space. Can't say that enough. I really like the color combination on this. These are adjustable shelves. So again, you have your sink there. Here you're gonna have your cooktop. Of course, you have a cutting board on both sides of your covers. And the cooktop is removable. So on a beautiful day like this, you can go outside, cook outside under your awning. You're gonna have your microwave and convection oven. You got one or two remotes. Dishwasher. Additional counter space here and here. This is permanent, so the slide actually goes over the top of this. Check this out. So two really deep slide out trays here, slide out drawers. If you like to cook, this is your kitchen. Out of all the floor plans I've seen, this is probably, uh, in my opinion, the best kitchen layout with the maximum storage. All right, now that I talked about that, because obviously this is what I really like, we'll go back up front here. I've got, you can see I have our day blinds down because it is a hot day out, so we have our day shades down. Keep it nice and cool in here. We're gonna have our sofa bed here. We have the televator across from us. We've got a set of really comfortable 
theater seats with plenty of storage. We've got uh, our cup holders here, so you can change the colors on these. That way you know who, which one's yours and which one's your guest. You got the TV here, again, perfect area to check out the games, watch a movie, hang out with the grandkids, whatever you like to do. We've got all the backlighting on. There's a ton of lighting in here, so you can always dim the lights. If you want to watch a movie, you can shut off a lot of them, just leave some of the courtesy lights. It really makes it a nice uh, theater, uh, theater section here. The theater, theater seats are super comfortable and they lay down pretty flat. So uh, it's a perfect place to have you need to take a nap. It's been a long day. You've been outside cooking all day, having some drinks. It's time to sleep. Theater seats is a good spot. I would highly recommend that. Of course, our two front captain seats will swivel around. Gives you a really nice living area. Um, Marlon, maybe if you can come this way and kind of show the camera this way. Again, I really like the fact that it doesn't look like just one big hallway. Uh, to me, this island, this, ex this counter here, this permanent counter here, and the sink being back here when the, when the walls are out, the slides are out, it really makes it feel more like a home. So if you're living full time in one, or you spend a lot of time in one, I highly recommend this floor plan, it's, it's awesome. You've got your booth uh, dinette here. Overhead cabinets all the way across here. Now these are probably a good, I'd say maybe 18 inches deep. You want to be careful as you're opening them because these will hit when you get to the angled ones. So you want to be careful with that, not to damage those. As we get here, of course, we're going to have got a big kitchen you're gonna have to have a lot of groceries so a residential fridge freezer is gonna give you plenty of room this along with the outdoor refrigerator freezer will really allow allow you to have plenty of groceries to cook in that huge kitchen and check out this pantry you're gonna have four slide out trays here shelves and then down here, these are going to be adjustable, so you can put pots, pans, cookie sheets, a lot of different size uh, items down in that area. Here you're going to have three more trays, slide out drawers, and then some more adjustable shelves here. If you need additional closet space, you can kind of show in here, you can remove these shelves, and there is a rod across the top there if you want to hang some stuff in there. Of course, 45 footer, we're going to have a bath and a half. Let me turn on these lights. There you go. Perfect size half bath here for your guests. In here, you're going to have your breakers and fuses. Of course, everything is going to be labeled on both sides. Here are your two inverters. So you can see that this one is going to run your front air. So this is the inverter that would be running uh, to run that air conditioner without your generator. Here on this side, we have some additional storage, a couple more shelves. And on the medicine cabinet side. Okay. I don't know how many times I've said it, but I love this hinge system that Newmar uses so that when the slides are in, you can still access the half bath. You're gonna have your pocket door here for privacy. They do lock when you close them, so you have to push down to unlock them. So 
come into the master bedroom, we've got a king size bed. Nice little nightstand on both sides. Gonna have some overhead cabinets with an outlet up there. And on each corner, as you can see, there's a port there so you can run some cables down here, hoses if you need to. Under the bed here, there's another touch pad. And then you have your speaker buttons here. You can shut the speakers off right side, left side. You can control your lights and other items on there. Under here, it's kind of hard to see, but on both sides, there's an outlet. There you go. So you can plug in your cell phone there. There's a little opening above the outlet so you can run your cable through. So you can run your power cord through here, set your phone on there and charge it. Makes it really nice. Under the bed, you're gonna have your two folding chairs for the dinette and the two uh, leaf extensions there for the table. Across from the bed, of course, you're gonna have your TV. And you're gonna have a ton of storage and drawers here. You're gonna have four small ones, soft closing. And then you're gonna have six larger drawers un under the bottom here, under the TV. And these are really deep. These are probably 12 inches deep. Here's your AV compartment here. This is where you're gonna plug in your DVD player, your uh, box for your satellite, your Wally, whatever it is you're using. You got your touchpad so you can check all of your uh, different items. You can set your floor heat, ton of stuff you can do on these. Uh, if you have any questions specific to these, I won't go into detail today, but you can feel free to give me a call. Uh, shoot me an email, I can always do a FaceTime. You're gonna have an exit window here. Yeah, so here on the TV, this TV does rotate around, so you can see you can kind of swing it this way if you need to get a little better angle on it. Blends in real nice with the cabinet. It's a dark cabinet, so it really fits in nicely. Okay, here in our master bath, we're gonna have our shower, flip down seat. We're also gonna have our shampoo conditioner and body wash dispensers up top. Splendid washer and dryer. Down below, you've got a nice little drawer to put, uh, you know, softener sheets, whatever you want to put down in here. Here on the side of the washer and dryer, there's a really nice access panel. So you can get to the plumbing on the washer and dryer. You're gonna have your toilet, of course your exit door here. So if there is an emergency, you would pull this panel off. Show you how this works. Just drop that down. And then you'd climb out. I've seen people use that when they're loading up their coach. When they purchase a new one and they're moving stuff from one to the other, they'll open this up and hand stuff to each other through here to load up in the bathroom and bedroom. Makes it a nice quick shortcut. So a little wardrobe area and some shelves. Dual sinks. Have your medicine cabinets. There's an outlet here. Cover needs to get put back on. Under the sink, plenty of storage for cleaning supplies, hygiene products, etc.
over on this side is going to be another wardrobe area. Got three additional shelves down here. Okay. Now we'll go into the cockpit area and I can go through some of the front systems. I'm going to go ahead and fire this up so I can kind of walk you through a couple of things. I'm not going to go into too much depth on, on these things because there's a ton of videos out there. And if you have any specific ones, if you have this model or a different model and have some questions, you can always feel free to call me. A couple of things to point out. You're going to have your camera screen, which is huge on this side. Here's your main menu. So you're going to have your Bluetooth. You can do our Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on this. Set up your Bluetooth. Go to your camera control. When you're towing, there's different views here that you can kind of show that will come out on that right screen there. So different angles, so you can see your tow vehicle. Uh, you can do a 360 view here. You can check your side cameras. Bring it into four different screens. I mean, really a lot that you can do, you can do the front camera. So if you're trying to park somewhere, you don't want to hit something, you want to put that front camera on so you can see how much room you have. You have, of course, your navigation, your mobile eye. You can adjust that as well if you want to sh shut certain items off. And of course, you're going to have your radio. Down here, we're going to have our visors and our shade controls. We're going to have our heating and cooling for the front area. We're going to have our front fans, overhead fan, docking lights, your courtesy lights. So if you're driving in a semi or somebody lets you pass, you give them the thank you by clicking on this. Generator, start and stop, and then your entry door locks. Over here on the left side, we're going to have our HWH leveling system. So once you get to wherever you're going, you just hit auto level, it'll level you out. This does have air leveling, so if you're somewhere parked and it's muddy conditions, you don't want to use your jacks, I would recommend using your air leveling. We have our Allison six-speed transmission. We also have our tag dump, and there's an auto and a manual dump here. So I usually leave it on auto, works just fine. Your engine brake on and off. It is a three-stage engine brake, so you have low, medium, and high. On this side, you're going to have your, your lights. So you can have auto. You have auto lights, fog lights, uh, your, your bright and dim. That'll dim your, your push buttons here once your lights are on. Down here, you're going to have your traction control override, your window, your tow window here. You're pulling into a parking lot and one of your compartment doors is open and somebody's waving at you. This is the window you'll open so you can find out why they're waving you down. Don't feel bad, it happens to everybody. I've seen it a bunch of times here. Uh, we have our house and chassis battery merge button. Our heavy tow system. So this will, if you're towing again, this has 20,000 pound towing. If you're towing a stack or trailer, you're towing heavy, you turn this on, it'll actually di redistribute the air on the bags from the, uh, on, the, on the coach itself, move the weight around so that it handles the towing a lot better. Here is your mirror controls, they are heated. That's where you turn the heat on and then this is where you adjust your mirrors. Now that will only adjust the top mirror, the bottom mirrors you have to do manually. This here is your Kurt Spectrum integrated brake controller does have some basic uh, steering wheel controls. You're going to have your wipers. You can make your calls and hang up here. So dial and hang up. You can uh, adjust your, your stereo right here on this bottom section. And then this is going to control your menu up there. So 
just go through let's go through the top one here so you, this does have tpms so your tire pressure monitoring system will show you all eight tires and the pressures you can go to your trip check your fuel mileage set it clear it every time you go through this so the messages will show you any messages that are currently active that's so you can brighten or decrease the, the brightness of the dash screen there and then your air leveling so right now it's in travel mode we can go to high ride low ride uh, so you can uh, if you're going over some bumps and you need a little more clearance you can go to high ride and you can do auto level so again if you're on muddy condition I would go to auto level on the air leveling menu hit that it'll level you out without uh, putting those jacks into the mud for you here you're going to have your basic gauges so you can see right now we're just under a quarter tank of fuel so you want to keep an eye on the fuel especially if you're running your generator uh, if you're not plugged into shore power because the generator will cut out after a certain after you get to a certain point on your fuel you have temperature and oil or uh, oil pressure there your two air gauges there primary and secondary and then this is your def tank so that's another important gauge to keep an eye on if that gets low and you ignore it it will put you into a limp mode to protect uh, the, the coach and you'll be going 20 25 miles an hour down the interstate not a fun thing to do so make sure you keep an eye on your def again any questions on this stuff as far as the coach uh, the chassis related uh, your gauges those kind of things feel free to give me a call shoot me a text or an email and I can go over that with you a little bit further up here you're gonna have this is equipped was ordered with four solar panels so we do have four solar panels this is your Zantrac solar controller your wine guard antenna your Gerard awnings as you saw out there I had them open so now I'm gonna close them I've got uh, one and two awnings so I'm gonna go to one push in and shut off the light on it go to awning number two same thing and shut off the light right here you're gonna have your driver side uh, slide out passenger side and your exterior LED lights your steps if you don't want them to open and close every time you open the door that's where you would click on to shut those off this is equipped with the Wi-Fi router uh, that's where you would turn that on and then of course your satellite system which is, does have uh, your window awnings controls are right here security lights on driver and passenger side uh, driver privacy drape front privacy drape and then your door and passenger privacy drapes uh, here's your main control you can set your floor heat uh, go back to climate I set all zones at 68 set it on cool so I think it was like 82 degrees in here when I first got in so it's starting to drop which is nice you can check your shades and your TV lift here again you can control everything from here or you can use the touch screens that are throughout the coach uh, those are usually easier because you're going to be sitting next to them most of the time or laying down next to them pretty basic stuff up here again any questions give me a call you know what so I don't forget this I just saw this your HWH master reset is back there it's kind of hidden uh, if your steps aren't working the way they should uh, any of your hydraulic uh, stuff isn't working you want to reset that that will usually take care of the problem if not you'll want to schedule an appointment with your local service department Additional storage there. Of course, we have our front TV here. A little more storage right here. These are for your Gerard awnings. These little white boxes are your controllers. Here on this coach, you can see we had this ordered with the backseat driver panel here so you can access your cameras, navigation, your radio, pretty much everything that you can access on the main control you can access here. It also comes equipped with your side table that'll flip up here if you want to work while you're going down the road. Um, maybe now if you want, I'll pull in the slides. I'll start in the bedroom. We'll pull the slides in so you can see how much room we have in this coach with the slides and going down the road.
Can't say it enough, if you like to cook, this is the floor plan you want. It's definitely the one I would buy. ahead and pull the two slides in so you can see that. You always want to make sure you have enough clearance behind your seats before you pull the slides in. Okay, cool thing to point out here before I pull the other slide in. This is a full wall hydraulic slide. Look at the size of this chain that the links on this that pull in the slide. A lot different than some of the other manufacturers, a ton different actually. The cog that they use to turn that is huge. Something to consider when you're looking to purchase a, a, an RV. If you go with the Newmar, you can't go wrong. Can't beat the quality. All right, now that the slides are in, you can see our slide locks are on on the passenger side. And now you can see how much room you have. This is how much room you'll have going down the road. It's a little tight going in there. Once you get to the kitchen, you got plenty of room here. Uh, you can still access the fridge. I can still access the bathroom as well. So you got plenty of room to get in and out. Again, the tightest spot is gonna be right here. If you have pets, this little area here in the kitchen is perfect for a nice sized dog. Uh, if they're not gonna be sitting on the couches or on the theater seats. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text or an email. Uh, si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Thank you guys and we'll see you next week.